Okay, today we're finally going to close the loop on our flight dynamics analysis and look at the last piece of the puzzle, which is the lateral dynamics. So this is now motions not confined to the XP ZB plane. So once again, we assume that the aircraft has geometric Y symmetry so that we take I X Y to be equal to I Y Z equal to zero. Further, we assume that the principal axes of the inertia tensor are aligned with the body axes. And then the off diagonal elements of the inertia tensor will all be zero. And I will just be I X X zero, zero, zero. I, Y, Y, 0, 0, 0, I, Z, Z. And in the same manner that we did when looking at the longitudinal dynamics where only I, Y appeared, we're just going to simplify our notation by dropping the double subscripts since they aren't necessary here. Now we can write down the 4x4 four four lateral dynamic system, which was the middle four lines of the full 12x12 12 12 system, as follows. Delta V dot, delta P dot, delta R dot, and delta phi dot. Equals y v y p y r minus u naught g cosine theta naught l v l p l r zero n v n p n r zero zero one zero zero times delta V, delta P, delta R, delta theta, phi. And uh, here we're just going to drop the control term since again we are going to only consider fixed stick flight. So once again we have a whole bunch of stability derivatives for which we need to obtain uh, some kind of analytical expressions if we're going to do anything useful in terms of analyzing this di these dynamics. So first let me write these out. In the same manner, we have the factor m uh, to the denominator, and these new and improved definitions um, of our stability derivatives. is b over 2 cyp lp is qs b over i x u naught b over 2 times clp yr qs over m u infinity b over 2 cyr and LR is QSB over IX times U naught times B over 2 CLR. Uh, the final ones are the N contributions, so NV is QSB over IZ times 1 over U naught CN theta. And P is Q S B over I Z B over two U naught C and P and lastly N R is Q S B over I Z B over two U naught C and R.
So now, for this system, typically the four eigenvalues have the following characteristics. So we'll have a role subsidence mode. which is generally damp and very fast. We'll have a spiral mode. Which can be stable or unstable. but is very slow in either case. And finally we have a pair of modes that we call the Dutch roll. This is oscillatory with medium damping typically. I'll sketch out what these, where these might typically be located on the complex plane. Here's our real axis, our imaginary axis, and what we'll find is that in general the roll substance mode will be way out here. The Dutch roll mode will look something like this, and the spiral mode might be here near the origin. Now, what we're going to do next is in the same way as what we did for the longitudinal dynamics, we'll now develop approximate expressions for the eigenvalues by making some simplifying assumptions.